Inside the Children's Ark with Dr. Roy Phillips, pediatric consultant. This is the first functional purpose-built unit built outside of Dublin for critically ill children, particularly when they are very unwell. Nearly 50% of them would have been going to Dublin if this unit was not here. And also very sick kids going to Dublin, that transfer of very ill children is a very stressful situation for the parents. So we continue to pursue with our work, but we need your support, and I hope that uh, there will be generous contribution from Midwest. Your money really does help kids. Please give what you can today. And I will try to fix you. Mary Carr, a teacher in the ARC school, tells us a little about the hospital's in-house school. In the morning, our first job is to go around and see what children are able to come to school. So anybody who is well enough to come to the classroom, they come here for a morning session until 12. So we try to cover all the subjects that they would be doing in school. So every day we would have some Irish, English and maths, but we try to make it as fun as possible. Uh, if anybody's here for longer than a few days, we would contact their school and link up with their own class teacher so that we would try and cover what they have been missing in their own school so they can seamlessly get back into the thing swing of things again and then after lunch we do uh, one-to-one sessions at bedside for children who are in isolation or who aren't well enough to come to the classroom. We see ourselves as bridging the gap between the time they got sick and their return to their own sc- school so it isn't just a case of getting medically better. Uh, going back to school can be daunting after a long enough absence so we would try and make sure that it's easy for them to go back. The hospital day is long and the medical intervention can just be quite short while they're here. So usually they're quite glad to come up here and then they meet friends and they go to the playroom then in the afternoon. So they'll have met each other in the morning in school. So then they end up loving it really. Most kids, you'll find that the parents are trying to drag them away when it's time to go home. And they usually are having such a good time here and have made new friends. Inside the Children's Ark Playrooms with Beryl Carswell, Hospital Play Specialist. Well, the role of a hospital play specialist is to help the child uh, to cope with hospital admission. One of the principles of our job also is the provision of what we call normal play or play that children would do every day in their home situation or at school. And we try to facilitate that here because when the child, it's well researched that when the child is at play and doing jobs, activities that they might do at home or at school, then they start to feel better about themselves and uh, recovery is um, hastened, which is a good sign, and they would be discharged that little bit early. We have a very active play department in the Children's Arc Unit. Our hub would be known as the playroom, but we actually have an outdoor area which incorporates a den for older children, and they can play foosball and pool games and outdoor drafts. The big thing about having a play facility is that it allows the child choice. When the child is being treated in the ward situation or at the bedside, obviously they don't have a lot of choice in their treatment. So by providing very good and fulfilling play facilities, then the child has that choice. There's balance in their life and balance within themselves, and that's always a good thing. My name is Juliet McSweeney. I'm one of the nurse managers working in the Children's Arc, um, and I work here in Rainbow Ward, and the high dependency is attached. It's part of Rainbow Ward. And I suppose the high dependency kind of goes back a while because it was identified that we need to have we needed to have somewhere to nurse the sicker children. We didn't like the idea of them being moved to the adult intensive care when they became sick and then they were being nursed with adult patients. We felt they should be nursed with children um, in a children's environment. Now some will be beyond our level of care and will have to be moved but then they're moved um, intensive cares in Crumlin and in Temple Street in Dublin. So what we do is we look at the sicker children from the ward and we nurse them two patients to one nurse in the high dependency area. The advantage to them being here is they're in the children's environment, the bright, colourful, playful environment. They're not in the adult intensive care. And they're in Limerick, which is a huge thing for parents, travelling up and down and accommodation in Dublin and all those things that come with that, and being separated from the rest of the family. The other children can come and visit here and they can see their siblings when they're sick and so on, which makes it easier on everybody and makes it so much easier for the families. Things are blue and green and orange and red and they're not hospital looking, they're bright colours. And then we use the facilities we have, like the playroom facilities, the play specialists come in and they spend time with the children in high dependency as well. So even though they're acutely ill, that they still have the distraction of play and they can express themselves through play and use that for their benefit as well.
the newer equipment needs to come on board and we need to upgrade different pieces of equipment and stuff and that's why we constantly need fundraising going on because we're now in the position where we need to improve on what we have. We started out at a, a basic level and we want to work up and improve what's, what's available.